In this video, we're going over the process required to achieve a simple Hello World application on both Android and iOS using Xamarin Studio. This tutorial assumes that you have already downloaded and installed both Xcode for the simulators and Xamarin Studio. Begin by opening Xamarin Studio and selecting New Solution. A dialog appears allowing us to choose a template for our project. Under Multi-Platform, select App, and under Xamarin Forms, select Forms App. Click Next. A new dialog appears, which allows us to define an app name, organization identifier, target platform, and a type of shared code we wish to use. In the App Name box, we identify our application for both our end users and for Apple's App Store and Google's Play Store. We'll set the name under App Name to Hello World. This name not only identifies the name for our root namespace for which all of our code will reside, but it also defines the name that appears beneath our application's icon on the user's device. The organization identifier should be set in reverse domain format. For my personal applications, I choose com.codebaloo.whatever the application name is. In this example, I'll just leave it as default. If you wish to deploy to both Android and iOS applications, you should select both Android and iOS underneath Target Platforms. Underneath Shared Code, we have the option of Portable Class Library or Shared Library. A Portable Class Library is a compiled piece of code that is referenced by other projects, while a shared project shares non-compiled code between the different projects. For this project, we'll use Portable Class Library. We'll also deselect the Use XAML for user interface files, as we'll be using C Sharp rather than XML. Click Next. This final dialog allows us to configure the project name, solution name, location, version control, and test cloud options. Since this is just an introduction to Xamarin Forms, we'll forego explanation on these topics as they are beyond the scope of this instruction. Click Create, and Xamarin will generate the boilerplate code based on your specifications. Once Xamarin has finished building your application, you'll be presented with your IDE. Let's take a moment to become familiar with Xamarin's layout. On the left, we see our project navigation, which presents us with all the files in our solutions directory. The large window on our right presents our different documents for editing. And at the bottom, we have our application output, which serves to provide feedback on our application state. Now, in order to make sense of how Xamarin compiles our code for each application, we need to understand the flow of our application. Here we see a folder hierarchy that begins with our solution file named Hello World. Within that file, there are three other project directories. Here we have our Xamarin Forms Portable Class Library, which represents the code that is shared between our two other projects. As you can see, we have our Hello World C Sharp document open. This represents the entry point to our Xamarin Forms application. It's important to note that this class is called App, and inside of App's constructor is a simple view laid out with a title of Hello World and a stack layout that simply has a label inside of it that says Welcome to Xamarin Forms. Let's change the name to Hello from Xamarin Forms. The next project file, Hello World.Droid, represents our code required to compile an Android application. This code is not shared between the other two projects. The entry point to this application lives within mainactivity.cs, and if we were to select this as our startup project, this file would be executed first. Let's open this file to see the flow of execution. Here we have some basic boilerplate code. Note the load application function. Here we are passing in a new instance of our app class, which is the entry to our Xamarin Forms project. This final project is helloworld.ios, which represents the code necessary to compile our iOS version of our application. Once again, this code is exclusive to our iOS application and is not shared between the other two projects. Main.cs represents the entry point to our application. Unlike our Android counterpart, the iOS application passes in the desired startup class name into the UI application singleton's main run loop. Now notice that we've got a file here named AppDelegate, which matches our passed in string. If we navigate to our AppDelegate, 
we find that once again, we are passing in our flow of execution into a function named load application. We're passing in a new instance of our app class. And if we were to select this as our startup project and build our applications, we'll see our custom hello world from Xamarin Forms message presented to us in our iOS simulator. Similarly, if we select our Droid project as our startup application and build, we'll see the exact same message appear on our Android simulator. And we see the exact same message on both the iOS and Android simulators.